been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back to another skateboard video and today we're going to be testing the top speed of the four wheel drive skateboard that I built. If you haven't seen the original video, check it out. So today's video is going to be, uh, we're going to see what kind of top speed we can hit on this thing and I'm going to show you guys the hill climbing. Anyways, we're going to be wearing a helmet obviously today and I do have a video on that if you want to check that out. Put this helmet on. Alright, so all I got to do is turn the controller on. Uh, spin one of these tires and the thing comes on so it's on now and the controller it's already con connected so all right so let's jump on and go i got it i'm gonna put it on slow for now to get used to it and then we'll uh speed it up guys but that was a pretty quick acceleration from the start As you can see I can cruising down the road pretty quick not sure exactly how quick but reasonably quick I'm gonna stop okay I'm gonna attempt to uh, follow the cars here real quick this is the one that just passed me and you can tell guys I got pretty good pickup here Probably going like 18 miles an hour, something like that. So the, from zero to 18 is really quick. So I'm gonna stop again, almost completely here. And then I'm gonna accelerate, ready? It's decently quick, that was it. And I only have it on the medium setting here, so not the full power all right guys so over here we got a really nasty hill i mean i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's really nasty so let's see how this thing does and you can tell it's it's pulling me up no problems it does slowing down a little bit but this is this is a crazy hill guys i'm going to turn around here in a second to show you how crazy it is right there i don't know if you can tell on camera but that's nasty hill so yeah, this thing's pretty boss when it comes to hills. I mean, before I would not be able to make that hill not even close, guys. I mean, like, maybe one-eighth of the way and it will just bog out. So now I can easily do it. It's pretty impressive, honestly. So we got some more pretty nasty hills right there. Maybe I can show you guys. Crash man over there. I better get away from him. But yeah, this is a nasty hill right here. Like, this is a very steep hill. So, and we obviously made it up it, no problem. So it's all nice and everything when you can go uphill, so obviously that's the point. <laughs> but going downhills is also important and this thing, because it has four motors, it has a lot more stopping power or twice as much as before. So that's been pretty awesome because now steep hills are not scary and let me show you guys what I mean. So if I push the brakes all the way down this pretty pretty crazy hill you can see it's, it's doing a really good job slowing me down so i can safely slow down to almost a stop without freaking myself out so so we're starting to go down this hill that's pretty crazy as you can see and I'm moving pretty good distance so I'm gonna go ahead and apply full brakes right now and as you can see this thing is really trying to slow me down but this is a crazy steep hill so it's still beating up a little bit but as you can see guys it actually halted me to a stop all right let's see if we can hit some top speed on this thing all right, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold the phone and uh, show you how fast I'm going, but I have this thing where it traps my uh, 
maximum speed so we can do that but I can try to film here while holding it all right guys hopefully you can see that try not to do three three things at a time plus ride the board fast <laughs> anyways let's roll I guess I saw that I hit 22 there, which is pretty reasonable. Honestly, that's what I was expecting. I honestly thought it was going to go faster, but I'm a little scared because my trucks are loose for churning capability. Yeah, it looks like 23 is all I can. I might be able to go a little faster, but I'm a little scared. I'm getting swarmy here at that top speed. Well, that's not too bad. I'm actually very happy about that. So there you go guys, you saw it, 23 miles per hour, uh, more about a quarter of a mile. So not too bad. I mean, it's not a super fast board, but realistically that's what it can do. And the point is, is that it can do that very well uphill. So, so it doesn't have a huge top speed, but honestly, like this is already like pretty fast for a skateboard. If you fall off that speed, you're not gonna have a, a pleasant time, so. Guys, I love the brakes on this thing. They're just, I don't know, it makes you feel so safe. It's these hills here. I mean, if you if you let it go, and it, it, I mean, you'll hit some speeds that you know will definitely throw you off. So another thing is my trucks are kind of loose, and the reason for that was because because of the board being so long, I'm not able to maneuver very easily if my trucks are too tight. So this is a pretty mean hill too. So you guys can see hopefully, and you can see I'm accelerating very well, even up this pretty nasty hill so so honestly guys I'm super like I'm I'm very impressed at the setup it does what it does I mean these are mean hills to climb I would never make it especially that quick over that kind of hill so so yeah all, all wheel drive is definitely the way to roll guys All right, guys, I don't know what else to say. This board is awesome. So we hit 23 miles per hour, which is awesome. Happy about that. Honestly, I was expecting somewhere around there. I think with a lighter person, you would be able to go faster. Uh, maybe if I tighten up my trucks, I might be able to squeeze another mile out of it or so. So it's quick. It's definitely quick. The hill climbing capabilities are amazing. So if if you're like me and you got a little, you know, weight to haul around, this is the only way to go, guys. So four-wheel drive system. Anyways, guys, I think it'll be it for this video. I pretty much showed you everything I could. So, anyways, I'm going to enjoy this board for a little while, and then I'm going to plan on rebuilding this whole thing because I want to make it look a lot nicer. I don't like these boxes here. This is a prototyping here. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this video. Check out the other videos I got, the build, and the review of this board here. Stay tuned for more videos. I got something interesting coming up for this board, actually, another modification. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.